All right, so bear with me. I'm going to go over MeshTastic SDR again, uh, but I want to hit a couple points, and so it'll probably seem like I'm moving through this a little bit slow, but I just want to make sure I cover everything. So I did a video of receiving with, uh, I think it was the RTL SDR and MeshTastic SDR about a week or so ago, and there's been some changes to the repository and maybe a little bit of confusion on how to get uh, Dragon OS set up for this. So, um, Oh, and also transmitting has uh, the ability to transmit has been added. So I thought I should probably just go over this again. So if you uh, have a War Dragon or you've picked one up here recently, uh, and you look at the little file that I put on the desktop, you should see that I've added MeshTastic SDR and and um, Python Virtual Environment and um, now, if you just have regular Dragon OS uh, to install on your system here, you're going to need to install uh, GR LoRa SDR, which is actually already available on the DVD, or sorry, well, yeah, basically the ISO that I uh, put out now, and it's a, a simple, um, the typical make directory, build, CMake, you know, so on and so forth. Uh, you do not use... Uh, trying to think uh, people have been asking me uh, you don't use basically the I'll just go through it uh, but in a new Dragon OS Focal X build ISO that I'm I, I just got to get around to uploading uh, to the typical place where you download it it will have GR lower SDR already installed and as much as I can in place there will be some things that you got to do on your own but for the most part it'll be pretty much there so here's the repository uh, I'm, I'm going to jump over to a virtual machine that's pretty much bone stock here, Dragon OS, using the new build that I'm, I'm working on. And because it doesn't have internet uh, directly, I have already get cloned down the MeshTastic SDR, and I've made a Python virtual environment. And if I've not explained that before, it uh, should be as simple as, uh, let me think, I'm just going to make another one here on Dragon OS. Uh, which, uh, let me think. So, uh, let me think. So, that's essentially how you make it. Uh, but what we're going to do is, uh, let's see. So, we don't really need the virtual environment for the transmit side of things. So, let's let's get set up with transmit first. Now, where this gets kind of confusing is if you look at requirements, it wants uh, one of them to be MeshTastic. And like I explained before, if you install MeshTastic, it's going to install also a way newer protobuf, uh, which actually ends up making portions of Kismet, uh, mainly the, uh, the Python-based capture tools, uh, th they won't work. So, uh, what I recommend is... Um, you can do like a, you know, whatever, a system-wide install uh, or, or just a local PIP3. I basically just do it this way. But the only thing that you really, I think, are going to need to install to Dragon OS by default, uh, because PyZMQ should already be there, but the uh, CRYPTOography. So if you do sudo pip3 install that, you should be fine. To set up for the transmit piece here. So I uh, apologize for the somewhat smaller screen here and there's going to be a lot of windows open so we'll try and uh, I'll try and figure out some way to have everything on here. The other thing with the new ISO that I'm working on is that I've completely gutted uh, GNU Radio 3.10.4 and updated everything to 3.10.10 uh, the 3.10.4 has lasted for I don't even know well over a year um, and so I just thought well we'll do 3.10.10 and update all other uh, applications that are relying on it and we should be good for quite some time especially with uh, 22.04 so anyways GNU Radio Companion uh, US Long Fast GRC And you'll notice there's some changes here. So now it's taken a ZMQ message source, 
so instead of like having to make a text file and everything else this is actually quite a bit easier you'll note the port there and let me think what else so uh, I've got device arguments hackrf I've got a hackrf plugged in just make sure you have the correct firmware that matches the uh, lib hackrf uh, basically in Dragon OS and I'm not going to change anything I'm just going to run this and this is going to be uh, having a uh, waterfall up here and so we don't really need to see this whole panel I'll, I'll minimize it we, do, we can see that it's working we're not seeing anything in the spectrum right yet because or in the waterfall because it's expecting us to transmit something okay and we can minimize this as well and we're going to need another window so the flow graph is running, the hackrf is activated. If I go in uh, meshtastic sdr python scripts and we're going to want to use the um, the tx script. And I'm going to real quick look at my history here. kind of see that there so I just took from the uh, example that was uh, provided to me you can obviously do attack H on that tx.py and see what else you need uh, I'm just using local host port um, that port there that you see um, actually let's see so over here we also are gonna Uh, so, TAC S sender, probably recognize that number. Um, packet ID, just made up something there, and then the actual message um, that I'm going to send there. Hello, everyone, and I'll let it. I'll let the script do its thing as far as uh, converting it and uh, and transmitting it. So at this point here, I've got a uh, meshtastic radio. Of course, you can't really see, but uh, if I hit enter. We should get success on here, and it should use the system installed GNU Radio uh, PMT library. And so I don't see any errors there. I see in the, the waterfall, I've got some activity, and I'm looking at my Meshtastic radio, and it perfectly says, hello, everyone, um, 17 seconds ago. It does got question marks on who it's from. So now over in our other window which changed a little bit I believe from when I last recorded this oh you know what and uh, just to clear this up so if you're in a position where you have an older Dragon OS uh, Dragon OS uh, focal the GR Laura GR tech Laura underscore SDR should already be in the user source directory I just had installed it back then you can do a sudo make directory build build change directory build sudo cmake and I think the website kind of is a little confusing because it starts going on talking about conda and everything else and you don't you don't need that uh, you just make it and I'm gonna save us a little time here just pretend that compiled and what I've been doing um, is uh, is essentially a sudo check check install on Dragon OS so in the latest ISO I've already taken care of this and it's uh, installed as a basically a, a package as if you installed it from an app repository but if you want to see how I do that I just uh, and it kind of differs per package the GNU radio packages this works really well but uh, I just say basically say yes this it comes up with some default stuff here for the GR Laura SDR I just hit to to change the name so that I can track this and if I hit enter at this point it's gonna build and install the package and then I typically end it with a sudo ld config but I've like I said um, 
GR attack Laura escort GR oh I actually put dash SDR instead of underscore SDR so to make a note of that um, but anyways you can install it with the typical CMake make um, if you want to get fancy and do the check install uh, if you're running the new ISO it'll already be there as a package so really just kind of depends um, if you open up the flow graph and the blocks aren't there well then you're going to need to install it so let's go into MeshTastic and we'll look at our GNU radio scripts and I'm going to open up the same one I talked about before the US 250 I know it says RTL SDR War Dragon comes with an air spy and I also have an air spy right at this moment so the only thing that I changed in this flow graph was to open up the RTL SDR source which is pretty much like the Osmocom source punched in air spy there if you're using the RTL SDR source obviously don't change anything I also made a change because the air spy the lowest sample rate is 2.5 so without changing the variable that would affect everything else in the flow graph, I just changed it directly here. You won't have to do that if it's an RTL SDR, but I changed it to 2.5 E6 there. And then I uh, normally it goes from the source to the um, frequency filter right here. I just separated that out and put a rational resampler in there with an interpolation of two and a decimation of five, which it should yeah, that should get me to down to one megahertz or one meg on the sample rate, which is what that block is by default. So I wanted to make sure that everything was running the way it should. So another thing we're gonna look at is because we're looking at long fast to decode that and that is also going out on a ZMQ sync in this case, and then just remember that port number there because that's what you're going to connect to with your decoder. You could actually open multiple uh, instances of the receive Python code and then, you know, just change it to each port number so that you're monitoring each, um, uh, what am I trying to say? <laughs> Basically, uh, long, fast, medium, slow, medium, fast, so on and so forth. Obviously, it depends on you having the correct key uh, for what you're listening to for the encryption, if there is encryption, but we're going to stick with long fast so I'm going to start up this flow graph you should see there's no errors down here you'll get a little like uh, just a little blank window here basically and so this is uh, our receive I'm going to close that this is also our receive here I'm going to close I'm going to not close it but minimize it and then we're going to open up another window here And we're going to do this end to end. We're going to transmit and receive MeshTastic with software defined radios. And again, I'm verifying it with a real Canary uh, MeshTastic uh, device that I have here as well. And let me think. So now here we're going to have to do something a little bit different mainly on Dragon OS because I don't want to mess up uh, Kismet. Let me go back up a directory. So we made that virtual environment. So we're going to use source venv bin activate. Now within this virtual environment this is where you could run make sure it says venv over here. So you would need to install and I'm not going to be able to because I don't have internet. I've already did this before on this machine this is where you would install those requirements that it mentions MeshTastic, PY, uh, ZMQ, and, and cryptography so you'd install those and those would be available inside the virtual environment without messing anything else up and you can you can see those requirements right there alright so we need to uh, take a look at what is needed to run the receive flow graph or the receive uh, application here. I've shown this before. I'm not going to change the key. I don't need uh, input because I'm capturing, uh, capturing this 
live from the ZMQ. So I'll just do tech in for net 127.0.0.1. And then if we remember the port, well, let's, let's see, 2004. Now this is going to connect to that flow graph and be listening for messages coming through on long fast. So we'll come over here on our transmit side where we're set up to transmit long fast uh, meshtastic. Got the uh, hacker F up and going. Hit enter. I'm waiting for it to transmit. And then over on the right hand side, I see that it, you know it's coming through a couple times here and correctly uh, decoding there with that payload. Hello everyone. I look over uh, what 10 seconds ago. I've got the hello everyone also on the uh, the meshtastic radio as well. So I hope I went uh, uh, slow enough and thorough enough. I just wanted to focus on uh, not the history of meshtastic or going crazy in depth on Laura or anything like that, but mainly getting Dragon OS set up uh, just because I've had some questions and. Yeah, I think we touched on everything. There's a transmit, receive. You see how to set the flow graphs up. Um, yeah, you should be able to, to do that. As long as you get that GR LoRa SDR, either it's already installed, just check like I showed, or open up the flow graph and you'll know you have the latest Dragon OS, or give me uh, a few days uh, from the time of this recording of the video and there will be a new ISO. Uh, unfortunately, you're going to have to like install it. Uh, fresh again just because I've made so many changes and I'm probably not going to be able to push it out to everyone from uh, an, uh, from the uh, PPA that I have that normally uh, provides updates to Dragon OS so I would recommend it's probably going to be a reinstall and uh, if you want to stick with what you have then just do the the typical install of GNU radio uh, out of tree modules and not don't go the conda route because that'll probably just mess everything up all right, I uh, hope that helps, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching.